we're standing at the top of uh, Gladstone Road. And you can see the, the, the bus station across the road. This is going to be a, a considerable amount of money spent on it soon to turn it into a, a new bus hub for the area. Uh, there's ample parking in the multi-storey park car park behind the precinct, which is the largest indoor shopping precinct in Bournemouth. And then if we look this way, we can see how close the, uh, the community centre is to, 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 to the uh, transport hub and the shops. Uh, and we can see uh, the, the house that's currently not being used as well. So this is the uh, front front of the uh, the BCCA uh, building that leads into the into the the, the front rooms and the theatre, and uh, we can see through the car park uh, the wall at the uh, wall at the end. Which uh, next to this property is another old building, old coach house, which is, a, is, is an old factory, which is currently running as a dance studio and a gym. And they also have an exit uh, into uh, entrance and exit into Heaveland Road. So uh, the, the owner of that property is quite happy for the wall to come out and, the, and people to come in on the, on the BCCA entrance and leave through his entrance, which would make uh, accessibility much better. This is uh, one of the first two uh, rooms of uh, the, the first two rooms that are listed in the building. These are the original buildings commissioned by Shelley. Um, that they're completely sound, uh, and they have disabled toilets and everything ready to go. The only thing needed is uh, a replacement heating system. Where you can see on the edges of the uh, room, the uh, paving stone has been taken up and the pipe work extracted. But apart from that, these these buildings are, are very sound. Uh, this, this third room now is uh, another building that will be kept. The first two listed rooms in this, this, this room will be kept under the current plans proposed by the council. You can see in this room that there is independently accessible, but there's, there's two fire exit doors and there's a third entrance into the room. One of the uh, problems stated was that the, the rooms are not independently accessible, but we can see that they are. This room again has two, three entrances into it, so it's independently accessible. They're accessible from the outside um, and is in a good state of repair. Again, just needs the heating system replaced, which is not, not a great expense. Here we have another outside entrance. Kiln room uh, where they did pottery classes and uh, they had kilns in here and uh, invented the room to vent the heat. So it's a lovely room. Originally, it was a classroom that would divide into two with a, mo a moving partition. Um, and we can see it's, it's independently accessible from the outside. We move on to a split room, which is partitioned. Again, has independent access to both rooms. Um, two, two large rooms um, that, that, that don't need a lot doing to them in good condition. Now walking here, we see, we see a corridor that leads to outside and we have another corridor which runs off the kitchen and a door down to the boiler, which has been removed. Um, this is the only area of the building where there is any current damage. It's a small piece of lead missing off the, off the, off the roof. And this, the, and this room here is, is what used to be a computer room um, and, and could be a, a, a number of different things in the future. All of these buildings obviously are gonna be demolished under current proposals.
and here we have uh, the only only two buildings, two rooms in the building that don't have independent access. Though they do kind of because you can come in through the fire exits here and uh, access them. But they were originally a props room and the lighting room for the theatre. Uh, it used to be the children's theatre, um, and you can see there's a, there's a as, as a theatre, it's, it's a lovely space here, still in very good condition. Um, it, it would make very quickly, very easily, a good arts cinema space and theatre space, uh, of which Bournemouth is lacking. And what used to be an adult learning room, uh, that could be a cafe or, or any, anything else. We see uh, a box office where you take the tickets, which would make an office as well. And through the doors we have uh, toilet facilities, including disabled toilets, with a disabled entrance with, with uh, a, a door press, a fire alarm system, you can see is, uh, is working. And upstairs there's uh, two or three offices. So this would be the way you'd come into the building if, if you were coming to see a play or, or 